I'm gonna have baby Flo try out with some new saddles. What's up, Flomies? It's a beautiful day. It is a gorgeous Monday. We are headed to the ranch to go do stuff and things. I'm gonna have baby Flo try out with some new saddles. Huxley is wearing his winter finest. It's got little ears, too. Yeah, he's ready. Annie's gonna go. Drama's gonna go. Drama. Alf is still in crate training, so he's currently singing little songs in the background and super upset. Um, yeah, so it's kind of just like a quiet day for us. At the same time, we're gonna meet up with the whole crew that's getting the booth ready to go to Las Vegas while I shoot this vlog. So a lot of behind the scenes today. And I only really had the patience for my lashes today. Shout out to War Paint Lashes. Those new news are coming in very soon. Also, this sold out pretty quickly. We're gonna try to get restocks in super fast, but like I'm living in this, like living for this mustard moment. Like anything in this color or burgundy is all I'm currently wearing. Ooh, look, these are gonna happen this week too. So it's a big week. It's a big, big week. I hope that we can make you smile a little bigger today as you join us. Um, yeah, we just want to make you super happy and we wish you were here. So let's go to the ranch. Okay, I made it to a headquarters where this elves are busy elves. painting. Here's the thing, I don't paint. I do a lot of, I'll clean every stall in the barn. I'll pull every, I'll, I will come clean out your closet. I will say this is better than staining though. So we're I'm the worst. enjoying it a lot. I'm the, I am the worst. I one time painted my house and it was no, the first I house I ever bought no, I and I painted the carpet. Like I just gave up and I had to go hustle, side hustle for money to replace my carpet because it was so bad. So like I just like, I'm gonna go do stuff in the barn where I belong. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be bad. Um, but thank God that we have people that are killing the game in here because without them, ranch dressing doesn't exist. So, we grateful. <laughs> okay, so here's what's going down. Um, we are all getting ready on top of everybody painting the booth for Vegas. We're getting ready for our yard sale. You know, things and stuff. Things and stuff, and we have so much stuff in the yard sale. So, first of all, here's a pair of sevens that are going in there. Here's NFR leotards, stuff I've worn at Rodeo Houston. Um, stuff that I've worn all over the world, a lot of vintage board games, vintage, a lot of vintage stuff that we have collected and done and toys and stuff and things. It's truly quite embarrassing how much <laughs> stuff we actually have. Yeah, because we could do a yard sale every month. In fact, we plan on doing a yard sale every month. Here's the greatest oh, thing I ever. I go back in my closet and I'm like, oh man, I have like 30 more. I, do I might take this home. No. Okay. <laughs> That was my best uh, thing that I offered there. I have so much stuff. Jesse has 40, 50 pairs of jeans. Cody, you literally have 40 or 50, right? 20 more to go, but I'm like, oh gosh. Literally. Cody has hand painted creations all over the place. I have rodeo shirts out the wazoo. So we're just now shooting like my sevens and some rodeo type shirts and this piece, and I'm keeping this because I'm gonna wear this at the NFR. Everybody voted that I should keep this bad boy. And then post NFR, new year, new me sale will happen after with all the looks that we wore um, at the NFR. So this is gonna be one of mine. Love the ranch. Love the ranch. It's a food receptacle. It's a placemat, basically. Hey, hey, dot. Ruffalo, is that your dot? Is that your baby dot? <laughs> it's even his back. Is that your dot? Yeah. Oh my God, she did. She got food yeah. all over her. She's gonna eat off her back. <laughs> Like a little moving buffet table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys through the barn. If you haven't seen the horses in a while, that was Baby Flo, the champ. Here is Neffy, looking fabulous. Hey, sleepy boy. 
This is cash flow. He's sleeping. Cody, play the baby music. Oh, he's awake. Hi, buddy. And there's Mojo. Hi, buddy. And then there's Knick Knack. There's Hush Money Girl. Hi, sweet girl. And then there's a sleepy Florari. Hi, girl. And then there's a Lolo. Hi, mama. Hi, mama. Yeah. And then there's T. Oh, my God. And there's Flobot. And there's the giant. Hi, Sunday. Hi, Sunday. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's very nice. That's very nice. I need to go over some jumps with you this week. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna make baby Flo get undressed. She hates the cold and she's in her jammies and she feels really good. So I may take Lolo out and actually try the saddles on her since she's basically a baby Flo clone and have her do the saddle fitting. So I'll get to it. I'm gonna shoot the majority of the vlog in here because it's so freaking cold outside. Oh, P.S. Look at these sick chairs that were made for the ranch from Desert Canary Designs. If you don't already follow them on Instagram, these are amazing and just a special edition so I could watch Baby Flo outside. So cool that she did that and this was from the photo shoot you guys saw from last week. So yeah, let's chit chat about these saddles really quick. So this is the first one that you guys saw last week. Um, this is by Equitech and um, I really, really love the underneath of the saddle. I didn't get to do a whole lot of riding. Um, it was just fast and furious. So I'm gonna fit this saddle again and um, just check it out. But this was my favorite thing about it just because it's something that um, it's gonna wear really nicely over time. I would say the saddle weighs max 15 pounds. It's light and that's what I use on Baby Flow already. So that is saddle number one. This saddle, I've not gotten a chance to sit in yet. So this is a master saddles. Obviously, this saddle is gorgeous. This is real leather. The one you just saw is synthetic. And um, it's just got a lot of detail. This one is not synthetic, which means it's going to be considerably heavier than the other ones. But the reason that I like this saddle, it's one that I will use on my Colts on the daily because the synthetic saddles don't wear as easily day to day as something that is leather. So let's look at the bottom. She's puffy, she's fluffy, she's ready to be broken. I'm excited to ride this saddle. So let's look at the very, the last saddle that we're gonna look at. Also these came with matching breast collars, which I thought was very cute. This was for the first saddle, super cute. This one, I have to tell you, from right now, right here, this looks like my favorite. So. This comes with a cute little synthetic breast collar. I don't always run with breast collars. I highly recommend that you do if you don't have proper saddle fit. Um, or if you're a beginner, like put a breast collar on. Don't do what I do unless you know that everything's fitting right. This feels like it's either suede or it's synthetic suede, which I feel like it's a synthetic suede. It's got buck stitching. This feels lighter than the first saddle, but it also doesn't have a cinch on it, so it's not a fair assessment. This is a master saddle, and I'm loving, loving this saddle, um, just from the look of it. But probably gonna focus on riding in this one today, but I'm gonna throw some stuff on Lolo so Baby Flo doesn't have to take her jammies off. So let's get started. Okay, it's time for Deep Thoughts with Fallon Taylor. My deep thought for today is this is a really cool tack room that we're sitting in and this is really pretty and the chandeliers are pretty and all these different saddles that I get the chance to ride in and you may be struggling to get your very first saddle and you may not have even, you know, the expendable cash to be able to get one off eBay and I'm just going to tell you this, the saddles that I made it to the NFR in were off of eBay or from garage sales and I made it just fine. I went to the NFR, I won the world without having an indoor arena or even a fence up sometimes when I would ride. So please do not think that equipment will make or break you. Yes, as you get at a higher and higher level, equipment is going to help you exponentially get to the next level. But girl, let me just tell you, you don't need a gadget, a gadget, a nothing. You need consistency. You need a strong why and you need hard work and you need to get off your butt on the weekends when everybody else is asleep. So you got to understand that you don't need anything more 
than what you've already got in here to be able to accomplish what you need to accomplish. That being said, I'm playing with fun saddles because that's part of my job. I worked 30 years to get to this point where um, I can test stuff out, I can check it out. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm checking them out. I've always wanted to ride in these three saddles, so um, I'm gonna take a look so that when you get to that level and you side hustle hard enough, you'll know where you want your money to go. I guess I just wanna wrap it up by saying it's not your job to wake people up that are sleeping on your talent. It's not your job to fit in with the cool kids. It's your job to pave a new trail that's yours. And yeah, I know that's pretty contradictory to the vlog that I'm shooting right now, which is new cool equipment, but you don't have to be cool to win. In fact, the odds are probably against you if you're one of the cool kids and you're gonna peak at a certain time. If you're one of the people that are struggling to get it together and struggling with a different story and struggling with the situation, you're probably gonna get t thicker, tougher skin and be able to succeed faster because you know how to get through some crap. If I could recommend any book to you to get through times like this, it would be Start With Why, or the PG-13 version of that is uh, The 10X Rule. Read either one of those, um, and parents don't let small kids read The 10X Rule. It's colorful language, like me when I'm not censored. Yeah, and that's it for today, so let's get to trying on saddles. That's it for Deep Thoughts with Fallon Taylor. Cuts to dogs. You have to quit petting her so I can vlog. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use this pad because it's my favorite. It's just a little light three quarter inch pad. And I don't ride a back cinch on anything, so I will most likely um, cut these off of the back just so they're not a distraction. So I want barrel racers to understand that when a saddle is brought to you, just because it sits up high doesn't mean that it is a bad tree or it's not sitting right. Um, these saddles need to be broken, so I always recommend you guys riding these bad boys. If they're not this beautiful, I normally dunk them in a water trough, but I'm not going to be dunking this one in a water trough. So um, these stirrups haven't been set either. And if you don't know, I always spray these down with water and then turn them and leave a broomstick in them so that these will turn out naturally. So she's super hard to fit because of just the way she's made. Everything is a little bit rollier on her than it would be on anything else, and this one feels pretty good. properly judge them I am going to change into the next saddle that I did not use on her just because I'm gonna be competing in a synthetic um, just because of their sizes so I'm gonna go grab the other synthetic saddle the one with the little flowers on it I'm gonna try that on her right now okay so I feel like this one didn't have a fair shake last time just because and I didn't have everything adjusted so today I'm gonna adjust it correctly and ride a horse that's a lot less fresh Get yourself here as no. a pipe licker. <laughs> Give me a little look, Ski. Oh, that's nice. Try to get that. Better wipe this off. Ski, Ski. Back to saddles. <laughs> I love that the synthetics adjust like this, the stirrups, because if you are a person that um, shares a saddle with someone else or you like to ride your stirrups in different lengths all the time, which is like me, um, I like to adjust them a lot and I like them to be easy. So, love this. So I'm gonna go throw on one more and make a little tiny cruise through and see how it feels. Hey, it's that cat. 
Wow. She that's a banana, <laughs> and that is Osita. That's also banana, and that's also Osita. Like, just like the... Alex? Oh. We got a review coming on. Oh. I thought it was me and her hanging out. <sighs> just like the feel of this one, compared to what I normally ride, I really, really, really like it. Again, Knox Bonds, so we shall see if I really like it. We got a taco, we want it. Did you make those tacos? Yeah, it's just tortilla and chicken. So I'll link the recipe below. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one tortilla and some chicken. Yeah, Bring your old Betty Crocker over here. Guys, she's single. Yeah. <laughs> This breast collar is everything to me. Everything that's happening right now is everything to me. Oh, is this your vlog? Oh. I thought it was Co Cody eats tacos. <laughs> Cody's book mom. Eating with Cody. <laughs> yeah. So blur myself out the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Drama. Come here, Drama. Yeah. Turn she is By the way, the countdown is on until Lolo's first jackpot after the NFR. It's like one of my big things I'm gonna accomplish in December. Get home, sleep, then go to a gym. I was about to say, uh, girl, we sleep for three days. <laughs>